All right, this is what happens when you're home and you need to fill up soon. I have about seven miles of range left, so definitely um, the next trip needs to be to a station. I am based in this general area here and it looks like we're online Placentia. Right there, we have Diamond Bar. There is online. And then West Covina is online. So you can find all this information on um, this website. I'll put it in the link in the description. And um, this is what I typically use if, I need, if I'm home and I just wanna do a quick check while I'm working or something. Um, just take a look here, but you can check out if you wanted to. Um, the news stations in construction, seems like primarily like Orange County and then um, in per, uh, permitting, proposed, all this stuff. But if you wanted to check it out, you could, um, but primarily I'm assuming most of us day to day, we're checking if they're online, limited, offline, all that stuff. So it looks okay. Um, I was checking earlier this morning and it seemed like a lot more were down, but nice to see a little more green. All right, here we go. We are in the car, turning it on. And we are heading to Diamond Bar. Hopefully it is still online. It's been about 10 minutes since that last video. Oh, we have 16 miles. And then with AC, 15. All right, and we're gonna go to apps, fuel. And Diamond Bar is online, so we're gonna head there now. All right, we are pulling into Diamond Bar. It is limited now, and we have 10 miles left. Pulling in, you know the deal, the Diamond Bar Station. You have to sign in. I do see a car over there already. It's at least one. All right. I just heard the hiss. Maybe they're done. Please stand by while I contact your party. Access has been granted. Please enter. Here we go. We are on the way. Inward. How many cars are there? Only one? Yeah, only one. Surprising. But at least it's limited. We can get some fuel. Um, this is, We're pretty much stuck here if we don't get fuel here. Um, we can't go anywhere else, so we're really hinging our driving on this one station. Look, perfect timing. They just wrapped up. It's time for us to fill up at the Diamond Bar Station Air Products. Last time I checked, the last time I filled up, it was $26 or 20, I think it was $24.99 or was it $26.99? I'm forgetting, but here we go. Fuel, bu fuel door button down there. Let's open this up, take the cover off. And here we go at a limited Diamond Bar status station. Put in our Toyota fuel card. And those of you curious, again, um, the fuel card is an incentive provided by Toyota. I don't know the politics and the exact workings of it, but you get $15,000 in fuel credit. Essentially, it works as like a debit card. Uh, $15,000 if you buy the car new, six years, whatever comes first, or if you buy used, um, it's three years or $15,000. Here we go, we got our nozzle. Pretty windy today. Then we are in. 26 
99. And we're fueling. Again, we were almost at empty. Let's see. Alrighty, we are filling up at the Diamond Bar station. Our fuel was at pretty much 10, 10 miles or so by the time we got here. So, um, yeah, again, we, if we didn't fill up here, then we would have to wait. Or if we couldn't fill up here, we would have to wait for it to get back online. Or if it was going to be down, we would have to tow it. But as of now, it seems to be filling just fine. It was online by the, when we checked at home. And when we got here, it was limited. So um, at least we'll have some fuel to use um, for some of the day. But we may have to come back later and uh, fill up, top it off. But um, it's kind of the way it goes with hydrogen. And every time you turn off the car, um, if you live in a house, I would imagine you don't want a puddle of water every time you go into your garage and park the car. So to prevent all of this to, from being uh, discharged after you turn off the car, you press that H2O button on the left side of the steering wheel um, before you go into your garage. And then, um, yeah, I'll dispense it before you head in. And then you drive on in, turn off the car, and you're good to go. Just a little step to, um, you don't have to do it, but if you don't want a little puddle of water every single time, you can do that. So, beautiful day. Not a bad day to be stuck. Not that we are, but if there, if we were to be stuck, not a bad day. 75 degrees here. Uh, Diamond Bar Station always does pretty good uh, for us, considering that it's just one pump. So it seems like we're filling up actually a, quite a bit. It may have just gone online by the time we got here, but we are at 4.2 kilograms at $113 and it just ended. Um, I don't think that's a full tank, but it should be definitely good enough. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna take off the nozzle, push in with the black, pull with the blue, it's back on, and we're gonna check how much fuel we have should be close to full and the verdict is oh that's why but we are not completely full I'm gonna turn it off and try to refill but this is what happens if you try to move with your um, fuel door open so as you saw it wasn't full I'm gonna try it again, try to top it off in uh, two minutes and 55 seconds. All right, the countdown for the second fuel attempt, 10 seconds, and that is, oh, okay. I was about to say that's the longest 10 seconds ever. A little bit of a delay, and it should restart from my experience. Or did we just witness? station closing should be good there we go all right attempt number two we're gonna try to top it off there's no one waiting I think I would just normally leave if there was a line but since no one's here might as well try it then make sure there's another gen 1 coming through get this over with so they can fuel but hopefully this works and if it does work top it off shouldn't take long Here we go Waiting, still hasn't started. Or, I guess technically it has. It doesn't sound like there. it's going in with much force. I feel like it's gonna stop very soon. Okay, now you hear it. $12, let's 
so I don't think it's going to fill up very much. All right, I think that's it. We all know how that goes, so we know for sure when it's limited, it's not going to top you off if you need extra, or it will, but not much. All right, let's see what we have. So now the fuel door is closed, so the car should start normally. 329 miles, almost full. It did give us a little bit more, so there we go. Filled up, so that's what, you ha that's what happens when you try to leave with your fuel, fuel door open. Now we have some fuel to do some other stuff. So um, overall, a successful fill, I would say. Um, outside of the slight, um, slight room in the fuel tank, we got what we needed and it didn't take too long. So, overall success.